Let me get him one more time. Right there he is. I won't get a still picture of this thing, but that is a just like that. You know, you gotta get your you gotta get those casts into where you think the fish are. Challenging or no challenge. <laughs> oh. Hey guys, Iron Mike here with Live the Lakes Fly Fishing and uh, one of the great things, uh, uh, the best part, one of the best parts about this job is, you know, we get to do design and testing, testing different patterns, designing new patterns and we've sat down, uh, it was probably a, a month ago or so now and we created this new little fly that I wanted to test out this summer and I've tested it on five or six different streams now and the results have been great. Um, actually caught hundreds, and um, when I say hundreds, I mean hundreds of fish on on these new new flies. So um, we hope to have them released in the fall. But uh, I have the opportunity to go out to the stream tomorrow, and I just got done tying up a dozen of them here, um, and I'm going to uh, actually tie up a few new patterns. Um, you know, we started out with four or five. Now we're actually coming out with six six different kinds of this this style fly. So. Like I said, we're going to add them to the lineup, and I'm going to go out tomorrow. But I wanted to give you a look at them real quick tonight. So on stream side tomorrow, when I'm catching them, if I say, "Hey, I caught this one on a black one," or "I caught this on a natural or the rust," you'll be able to see the which actual fly I'm talking about. Because you know, it's not always the easiest to give you know a good look at the fly while when it's in a fish's mouth or on the stream, especially when solo filming. And that's my mission tomorrow. I'm going to head out just myself and the the camera and my dozen flies and you know, I have a couple backups in my box, but I hope not to go through a whole dozen tomorrow. So let me give you a look at the flies, and then uh, we'll see you on the stream tomorrow. Okay, so here's here's a look at the flies I was tying up. And, you know, if anybody that follows our videos, we use like $99 cameras due to dropping them in the water all the time. So uh, I apologize for the, the color hues not picking up the best, but um, I'm going to just go in, zoom in on them, and go over each fly and just just tell you what it is so on the video tomorrow um, you know if I say I cut this one on a black one or whatever you'll be able to be able to see but I'll just go from the left to the right here let me get get zoomed in in this first one's just a little little black you know could represent a little black stone or basically any black nymph um, the second one even though it's not picking up on the camera great that is an olive in color I know it doesn't look real olive but it is uh, an olive dubbing um, the next one's just a brown, you know, could represent a variety of uh, nymphs, that's for sure. And then we have our natural. Okay, and then we did one in rust with the rust the live the legs. And last but not least, it's one of my favorites, it's uh, the, looks like a little golden stone. Um, but they all have, you know, the, the live the legs on them, as well as the si silly legs, or sexy legs, as some of the companies sell them. But, uh, we're going to make all this, these products available, you know, for those that enjoy tying themselves. And like I said, um, we're also going to have these in our lineup, hopefully by fall. So um, if you like them or have interest, you know, just hop on our website and, and order. But there they are, and that's the, that's the lineup for tomorrow, and it looks like a, quite a good team to me. So um, stick around, and I'll see you in the water in the morning. All right, just getting on the stream in the morning. It's nice and early. It's probably about 6.30. And, uh... Did a, did a little preview on a video last night and um, you know which flies I'm using uh, but the two I have on is the natural one at the bottom and I'm trying the, the new rust pattern up top so uh, weapon of choice today is the 10 foot 2 weight and for my indicator line just so you can pick it up a little better in a video uh, typically we use the, the Hannock um, but I went with the piece of and this is just fly line backing um, it's a little thicker, maybe a little bit harder to detect strikes, but uh, it's still doable. Uh, you can see the river's up, has a little bit of color, so uh, might be a little bit more difficult than uh, your typical nymphing. It's, I mean, it's almost perfect. Within a couple days it will be ideal, but we're going to give our shot today. I'm going to start right here and see if we can't, can't pull one out. Now, on days like this when the river's up, you've got to take your time, you got to work more of the water. You know, it's, it's hard to narrow down and pinpoint exactly where the fish are, so we're going to give her a try.
I got a big one on. Very nice fish already. Looks like a doozy. All right. Whew, what a great fish. First couple casts. Holy man. Uh, give you a look at this thing and he took that natural one this is a big fish wow can't even get him out of the net and there he is give you a good look at that probably a 17 16 17 inch fish right there let me get the fly out get him in the water and I'll explain what I did there but my gosh what a gorgeous gorgeous trout There he goes off just like that. And my gosh, what what a start to the video. I don't know if I'll top that one the rest of the day. Holy man. What I did, I only worked the inside of this scene. So I'm gonna actually uh take it and I'll uh set it up again and I'll hit the middle and then the, the sides. So okay, just got up to my second little run here after land that big fish right down the stream and a little tail out comes between a shoot of an island, gets kind of soft here. Uh never know, I'm gonna give her a whirl. Another good fish here. I don't think he's quite as big as the last one, but still a solid fish. Took that natural again. There he is. Took a few casts to get him, but he was laying in there up under that brush and took that natural one again. And it's a it's a solid fish for sure. You know, you just gotta take your time and work the water when the when the river's up like this, but there he is, great looking fish. You see that new fly right in his mouth, that natural one. So let me get him released here and we'll keep working keep working up the up the stream. And there he goes. He's a little guy, but he was a jumper. And again, uh, now he took the rust. Took that rust up top. Okay, off to a pretty good start. Uh, only fished about 75 yards of the stream so far, and I think I picked up three in the video, and one as I was walking up through a little chute, um, but he ended up getting off anyhow. So I'm just gonna work this little ripple up towards uh, towards a bridge there and see if I can't can pick up another one. Um, the natural and the rust both caught uh, fish so far, and that last fish got me in a heck of a mess, so I put on the, the black one and the, the little brown one, see if we can't have luck with those. Uh, give her a whirl. There he is. He was completely 
up at the head of that run, feeding in that real shallow, shallow water, and just a little, but gorgeous little brownie. So there he is, about six, seven inches. Okay, there he is. Uh, let me get the camera turned around so I can see myself here and I'll explain what I did there. Um, let's see, there we go. Beautiful wild trout. And the stream is so deep today, I couldn't, I'm just leaving down the water there. It's so deep, I couldn't effectively get up through that run. So I tossed on an indicator and I just started working my way up through and picked up a beauty of a wild brown here. Um, nice, probably 12, 13 inch fish, but Gorgeous, uh, there he is, he really took that fly in. So I'm gonna get it out here and see which fly he took. Oh, let me get him back in the net. And there, before I take it out, I'll give you a good look. He took that, that olive pattern, so. All the flies have been working uh, well today. Um, there he is. There he goes, another beauty to the net. You know, and that, that's that's one thing. Um, I'm not opposed to, well, I prefer tight lining, but um, certainly not opposed to, you know, when I don't feel I can effectively get out there, um, I'll throw on the indicator, no doubt. So, yeah, great case scenario. It just banged a nice trout here. So, I'm gonna get the camera wrapped up and keep working up through here. There he is. Take a look at this guy and then we'll get him back in the water. Uh, let's see, he took the, the natural. There he is. Get him released here. You know, I'm going to shut off the camera real quick while I'm here and then release him. Okay, I got to set the camera. I just caught one right here, but I got to set the camera up up here and I got to finagle my way around that brush to hit that tail end of that run down there. So I'm going to give her a shot. I'm going to work my way down now. Another one. Glad I decided to work my way down. That was right. Oh, he's a little feisty one. <laughs> this little peeps here, but hey, still fun to catch. Give you a quick look at that guy. Beautiful little trout though. He took the took the natural as well. Then get him released, and I'll just keep the keep the camera rolling here and work my way down. Okay. All right. What I did is I uh, actually moved up up the stream some. Let me just dip them down the water before I show them to you. Moved up the stream. It's probably about 9:30. Um, caught maybe 10, 10 or 12 down below, and probably seven or eight on the hookups on film. But uh, so I moved up. I was just getting beat up. Too hard to set the camera up in the faster waters. I almost lost it a couple times, but. Um, Let's go this way. There he is. Beautiful little, little wild brown. You can see that fly right in the side of his mouth. And that's actually the, the brown one. Let me get him released here and 
So a variety of flies. I mean, I think I caught them on pretty much all the all the patterns today. So hey, can't complain. I'm going to reset the head of the run up here. So I'm just going to reposition the camera and see if we can't get another one out of this run. Oh, I'm out of here. Another one. Oh, <laughs> a little battle here because uh, because of the trees. I just just literally caught that one, and the very next cast got another. Oh, he's coming right to the camera. Oh, he took the top fly. I'm not sure what I have on there right now. Let's see if we can't get him. If oh, I took the olive. So another beautiful little brown. Uh, a lot of smaller trout up here. But, uh, good little river, and right there's the olive in his mouth. Let me get him released here and. See if we can't get another out of this run. There he goes. Okay, it looks like a pretty good little run here. There's some uh, big rocks over. There's an undercut. And then at the head of the hole, which I'll probably reposition the camera, um, there's some fast water coming in. So that's where I anticipate catching one. But I'm going to try this soft stuff at the tail, too. like that and I'm sure you can see that <laughs> cider line going. That's a decent fish. Oh we've got to keep them out of the structure. Oh, nice fish. A great fish for the upper upper part of the stream. Like I mentioned earlier, there's about 20 miles of fishable water in this in this stream, but let's see what he took here. What is that a beauty? There he is. You can see that fly right in his mouth. Let me get him Get him released here. He took the brown as well. Right now I'm fishing the olive and the, the brown. Um, earlier I got him on the natural, the rust, and uh, the, the, I believe the stone. Yeah, the, the golden. So let me get him released here. There he goes. There. And like my third third drift through there, he come up and really smacked it. And uh, this one took the black. So yeah, I've been catching one <laughs> pretty much every one that I tied last night. There he is. Beautiful little wild brown. Pretty, pretty fish. Get him released here and then I'll reposition the camera and I'm actually gonna continue working up that run. I didn't hit very much of it, just the tail end. Alright, I decided to stand up here on top of this log and just dip my flies down in and sure enough it's in a brush pile but I think it's a brook trout uh, which is pretty rare for in here. See if I can, oh, turn off over. There he is. Give you a quick quick look at this little guy but yeah just uh just a tiny little little brookie but I want to hurry up and get him back in here. Um, That's a rare occasion for this stream. That's why I wanted to get it on the video there. There we go. I actually broke my flies off in a tree down below, so I changed them up, put the rust on the top and a more natural on the bottom, and sure enough, he took the rust. So, get him released here. That was the first drift through there, so I'm gonna give him another, another whirl. Just a little guy. Guy. 
see what he took here. Oh, he took the natural one. He took the natural on the bottom, just a real, very four inch fish. Get him release here, see if we can't get another. Okay, a lot of structure around here, but what I'm gonna try to do, you can see this log coming, there's a, there's a pine tree branch hanging out over, so I'm gonna try to cast above it and then drift my flies along that log. Uh, not real deep in there, but hey, plenty deep to hold a fish, so let's see if we can do it without catching the tree. But I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, he's a good fish too. Whoa. All right, beautiful. Wow, is this one pretty? This is a really, really pretty trout. He took the, the natural. Let me get him out of the net here. Oh. Slippery guy. Let the fly come out. And look at the look at the par marks on him and how pretty he is. I'll see if I can hold him. See if he'll cooperate here. What a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous wild. Let me get him back in and yeah. So what I did there is I just it looks great along that log for one to be hiding in. So I just cast it right above it, drifted down through nothing the first time. So I went up two more feet and got it you know just a little bit more above almost to where that tree branch is in the water and drifted right along the log and he smacked it right right underneath that overhanging branch so um, you gotta try those tricky casts if you get in the tree you just go out and get it and keep going but uh, the risk is worth the reward a lot of times I just get ready to walk and take the next cast. It was lifting up out of the water, and sure enough, one hit. This might be a bigger fish. He's solid, yeah. Oh, in these circles here. And one down the stream. It's a great fish, actually. Wow, that's a really nice, nice solid brown. Holy man. See that natural right in his mouth. So, wow. I'm just getting ready to take the take the next cast. and I must have thought it was a merging nymph or something. I don't know. Can't complain. All right. I was just walking up through. Didn't even hit this riffle. But I got a giant trout on here. Um, we're laying in real skinny water. Oh. Yes! Woo! This is a doozy! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna keep him in the water here. Wow! You know, just, I didn't even set up the camera. Um, for the, I can't even get him, this one out of the net either. This might top the one I got earlier today. Um, let me get the fly out. He took the natural, and I'll get you a better look here. I'm gonna move the camera over into some softer, softer water so it doesn't fall in a trick. Okay, let me get this position. Get you guys a look at this fish. Wow. This is a solid, probably 18, 19 inch fish. Um, got me a little wrapped up. This new net's getting a, certainly getting a workout today. Let me get my flies out first. Keep the fish down in the water. There we go, that'll help now that the flies are out. But I'm gonna get a still picture of this. Uh, shoot, I got a water spot on my camera here. Let me keep this fish in the water and try to dry that off.
It's all fuzzy. Okay, well, we'll have to make do. I'll get a nice still picture of this. This will probably be the, the cover fish too, but uh, let me get them out of the net here. And look at the colors on this thing. This is a doozy. Not a doozy of a fish. And luckily he landed in the net there. Let me get him one more time. Right there he is. I won't get a still picture of this thing, but that is a that's a giant, giant fish. So let me get a still picture. I'm gonna shut the camera off and then I'll get the release as well. Bring the camera along and let you let you see him swim away here. And there he goes. Right back out into the fast current. There he is. That was quick. First cast. Oh, perfect. And I believe, yep, he took the the top fly, which is, I don't even know what I have on there now. I've been switching up a little bit today, but uh, up the rust. Back to the rust. Let me get this hook out and get him, get him released here. It's in his mouth and all the way. There it comes. That's halfway out anyway. And there he goes. Beautiful little trout. That was the first cast through there. Wow, gorgeous fish. Took the little golden. And look at the orange dots on that thing. That is one beautiful trout. There's a look at the fly. And what a great, what a great day. Nice. Get the camera wrapped up and head on up the stream. Okay. Um, you can see behind me, there's some real low trees, uh, ripples coming in, structure, shady, everything's ideal for a trout at the casting. So, what you have to do, I'm going to cast from my left shoulder, grab the fly, fling it up in there, and try to get a drift down through. You know, if you don't at least try to cast some of these places, you're not going get to get the fish that are in there. So, it looks like a great spot, so we'll see if we can't get one. Interesting cool. You gotta get those casts into where you think the fish are. Challenging or no challenge. <laughs> oh, he got, whoa, I must have had a weak spot in my line. He actually broke my flies off. But uh, that little fish shouldn't have done that. I'm glad it wasn't a bigger one, but yeah, he got out. So I'll re-rig there and try another cast up in further. All right, just, I just got done explaining, uh, you know, how it's very difficult to cast in this spot. Because those trees are only about three and a half, four feet off the top of the water so you can't get a great cast but got one in there first drift took my flies got them to the net and I must have had a weak spot in my line because I'm actually fishing 4x and there's no way that that fish should have snapped me off but he got away with both of my flies but anyhow I'm gonna sneak back up in and work the head of that if I don't get caught in the trees Gotta get, you gotta get those casts in where the, the fish are. Um, pretty looking trout. And I just tied, um, 
I figured, you know, <laughs> everything, every one of these patterns is working great, so I switched it up again, but uh, took the olive one. Just to open his mouth for you there. There it is. I think that's on the camera. Anyhow, I'm gonna shut, actually, I'll take this fly out and get him released. And there he goes. Uh, might as well try to get three out of that run, I guess. Get my fly out of my net. Boy, I'll tell you what, um, take a, just a quick minute here. We just got these nets in, uh, you know, has a Live the Legs logo on it, a nice big mesh basket. The rocks don't come with it, but uh, yeah, it fit two huge uh, trout in there. And you know, the nice thing about these rubber mesh is the net or the, the flies pop out real easy. Um, so yeah, they're, they're gonna be available online, but it, it's great, it's lightweight. It seems sturdy, has, had a lot of, uh, a lot of big fish in it today and a lot of fish. So what a way to break in the in the new net too. So I'm gonna actually shut the camera off and it tangle my flies up a little and then see if hit this hole again one more time. Alright, got my flies re-rigged up. Can there be three in this run? This is a good fish here too. I get to fly out and give you a look at them. But you know, one thing I want to mention is I thought my camera shut up. I know the battery's running low. One thing I want to mention is a lot of guys, you know, they don't even attempt to cast in there. So there he is. Another great, great fish. And there he get wow, he take off quick. Um, you know, like I said, if I wouldn't have cast it in there, I would have caught, I would have just passed it up and missed out on three more trout today. So all right, what a great afternoon or you know morning and it's into the afternoon now. Um, not quite sure what time it is, probably late afternoon, uh, say two, two o'clock-ish. But I'm gonna try to close out the video here. Uh, what, a, what a great day. Uh, very happy with the new net, uh, the new flies. And I'm telling you, they've just been absolutely slamming, slamming trout. So I'm really excited to you know have this pattern available in the, in the fall. Um, Every fish I caught today were just on the flies that I whipped up last night. So uh, it's been a great day. Lots of fish to the net. Um, got a lot of hookups on camera. Um, you know, and like I mentioned earlier, just can't set up the camera every time. But I'm going to try to close it out right here and see if we can't, can't pull a fish out then to end the video. And there he is. This should be the, the video ender. And man, so many uh, casts today. One cast and one cast and that's it. Oh, what a great little little trot to, to end the end the day, but and there he is. So I'll get that. Oh, top flies caught in the net here. This flies pull right out of that net. It's super, super neat. So, and the little golden, the golden pattern. So, and there he goes. So, you know, thanks for uh, you know watching. And um, solo filming is not not the easiest. I mean, you can go out and slam trout all you want. Uh, you know, when you go on a mission by yourself. But setting up the camera every time and, and doing this is a challenge. But it's it's fun. I mean, I still think I did very well today. Uh, caught a ton of fish and um, you know jumped around a little bit. Fished each spot a couple hours and. That's it, so, you know, thanks for watching, and 
Um, by the way, those are two of the biggest browns I landed on on camera. So that that's a that's a good feeling as well. So hey, take care and thanks for watching.